What we're going to do on the two-hour tour, we're going to bring everybody into this room. We're going to do about a half-hour orientation, and we'll go over safety, you know, all the rules, regulations, and then we're going to go ahead and take everybody on about an hour to an hour and a half long tour all the way through the facility. We'll go from the first floor to the fourth floor. We get a, a tremendous amount of EVPs, EVPs being electronic voice phenomenon. That's where you record a voice that you don't hear with, you know, audibly with your ear, but you can pick it up with some type of uh, recorder. We filmed a, a documentary about three weeks ago. We got about 700 different EVPs in three nights. There's a lot of residual energy in this building, meaning it's, it's basically it's like a memory, the building has a memory and it plays these voices and sometimes scenes. There's a ghost they see down there in the hall. It always follows the same path. That's not an intelligent hunting, that's a residual hunting. It means it's basically tra a memory that's trapped here in the building. We've got several people have witnessed full body apparitions. Um, she had black stringy hair. She uh, was wearing a white nightgown with uh, like the muscle shirt type straps. Um, it was white, it had little ruffles around the top. Um, and then, to me it looks like a night, and it is just as plain as day in the window, and the closer you zoom in, the more plain it is. It's an incredible picture. We get a lot of shadow people, uh, shadow people being like a black mass that you see that takes the form of a human, but you can't make out features of it. There are still spirits here that are trapped here for other reasons. Uh, I'm not sure what all reasons. Some of them are unstable. Basically they had the same personality. That when they're in death as he did in life. So they're insane? They're different. <laughs>